welcome to the self-love challenge. I am so, so excited that you made the decision to want to know more about your body, what's normal, and learn about the sexual response cycle. This is a real thing, and it has a huge impact on your body in terms of lubrication or lack thereof, how you experience an orgasm, and so much more. So let's dive in to the sexual response cycle. This is a progression of physical and emotional changes that happen when we're sexually aroused and when we're engaged in activities that are sexually stimulating. So the sexual response cycle, which was developed by Masters and Johnson, is a four-phase model to describe these changes during sexual stimulation. And sexual stimulation often begins with desire, however that's not required, or interest in sexual activity. A person's desire can be heightened by hormones, words and gestures of your partner, even by our senses. So things like things that we smell, see, hear, touch, and taste. And according to the sexual response model, sexual desire, like I mentioned, is not required. However, it can definitely add to the experience. So phase one of this model is excitement. General characteristics of this phase, which actually lasts about a few minutes to several hours, can include things like muscle tension increasing, heart rate quickens, breathing is accelerated, your skin may become flushed, maybe blotches of redness appear on the back and chest, nipples can become erect or hardened, and blood will start to flow to the genitals. This will result in swelling of the woman's clitoris and the labia minora, which is the inner lips. Vaginal walls will begin to lubricate and women's breasts will become fuller as well as the vaginal walls will begin to swell. The second phase is plateau. In this phase, sexual arousal increases as well as, well as sexual pleasure and the changes begun in phase one are actually intensified by, intensified by now. So signs of this phase are going to include rapid heart rate, a variation of shorter breaths or deep long breaths. And the woman's clitoris has become highly sensitive. It may even be painful to touch, and it's going to actually retract underneath the clitoral hood to avoid direct stimulation. Phase three is orgasm. Orgasm is the climax of the sexual response cycle. This phase is the end of the plateau phase, and it's actually the shortest of the phases, generally only lasts about a few seconds. So characteristics of this phase may include quick muscle contractions or spasms that are involuntary. The orgasmic phase is also associated with increased vaginal lubrication. And the sensation to describe as intense sexual pleasure, however, each orgasm, like, it's going to be different, right? It's going to vary based on the way it's achieved or experienced. And blood is going to start to flow. Heart rate is up. Breathing are at their highest rates. So this is going to have a rapid intake of oxygen at this point as well. Muscles in your feet may spasm and there's a sudden forceful release of sexual tension. So in women, the muscles of the, of the vagina contract and the uterus undergoes um, rhythmic contractions as well. The last and final phase of the sexual response cycle is resolution. During resolution, the body slowly returns to its normal level of functioning and swelled and erect body parts are going to return to their previous size and color. This phase is marked by a general sense of well-being, enhanced intimacy, often fatigue. Some women are capable of a rapid return to the orgasm phase with a little further exploration um, for sexual stimulation and may some may able to may even be able to experience multiple orgasms um, once they hit that resolution phase. That is the sexual response cycle, and I cannot wait for you to experience more of our self-love challenge and learning about your bodies and this sexual response cycle as well.